Good morning, everybody. I'm out here in my local Copart yard trying to find our next build, see what's out there. We have almost 200 cars playing today. So hopefully we'll be able to pick something up, maybe something small, maybe some big, small project, big project. Who knows? It just depends on how it goes. That's how the Copart auction life works. But hey, let's go check out our first potential project. So first one on our list is this 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat. Man, this thing is already fully loaded. You can just tell. I mean, what is that? Sensors on the fenders. That's pretty crazy. Looking good. This thing's a V8 5.0. Tires look aggressive and in great tread. So you got a front end accident. Nice, simple, basic hit a pole kind of situation. Looked up the information on Auto A Stat. That's what we do, guys. Definitely, if you're actually interested in something, our first step is to see the history of it played before, how many times has it been on the auction, just to get a good background information on it. Don't really waste all your time on it, because if it's been in the auction for like 30, 40 times, something's going up, and you just approach it with a different mindset. But this thing hasn't played before, insurance selling, so that's all good. Got some side damage right here, bed, door. Ooh, check out those steps popping up. That is very nice. You got the leather. It smells okay in here. Maybe some water got inside or something, but overall very nice. Surprise, there's no sunroof. Wow. Such a high class package and everything and no sunroof. That's, that's interesting, but door closes nicely. Just a couple scuffs here and there. Got the bed cover. These taillights are so expensive with these sensors. Blind spot radar. Happy it missed it because if it cracks, that's like $800. Nope, just kidding. It is cracked. Ah, you got to watch out for that. Definitely adds up. Sensors all around, multiple cameras. Wow. Touch a button, you're good to go. Even comes with the attic. Little piece. That's nice. I'm building stuff, so that's, that's very useful. There we go. Hey, an FX4, so four wheel drive, V8, 5.0, definitely the desired vehicle to have. Everybody loves a truck like this, electric brakes. You can adjust your foot pedals. We got 117,000 miles, so a little higher. They definitely drove this thing around, but it ain't nothing for a truck. On a 5.0, great motors. It is playing in a couple hours, so just gonna check it out and put a bid on it. Headlight is smashed, front grille, frame rail looks okay. Might need to be pulled a little bit. Might be slightly frame damage. Bumper is all up in the tire, so you can't really drive this thing home. You can see it was already eating it up. I guess they were driving on it, destroying that tire, but They'll all be fixed. Tires not pop, rim's still okay. So checking out Auto Ace that actually it did go for 13.5 in the auction, but the insurance company did not let it go. So I have a good idea how much they want, at least 13.5. So I think I'm still gonna keep looking at it because that's that's reasonable. I mean it's such a nice high package. Everything looks fine, engine looks okay, radiators look fine. Still have radiator fluid, so that's good. So I'm sure you know my AC condenser is good and everything like that. Shutter grill. Just need a bumper, grill headlight, a little bit of frame, some work on the other side. Let's see if it's got power to start this thing. Just love the steps coming out. Oh, it's so roomy. Big old screen. This thing's definitely nice. It's worth money. Push start. What? Key not detected. Sometimes you gotta push it with the key. I'm holding the key. Doesn't like it. Interesting, let's try a couple things. So very interesting, it's not starting, it's saying no key. Maybe the battery died on the key. But hey, looking at this thing, it actually has a clean title. So definitely worth fixing. I mean, airbags are not deployed and they didn't deem it salvage. I'm kinda sad it can't start it, but it is a run and drive on the ad. So I don't see why it wouldn't start definitely has potential 
I'm gonna keep an eye on it and let's play it, see how much it goes for. Hopefully we'll pick it up. So just walk in the yard and guys, check this out. What in the world is that thing? It's research on it. It's actually playing today as well. It's a 1952 stud finder baker champ something something. I have no idea what this is, but buy it now price is a thousand dollars. So they're just trying to get rid of it, trying to move it. Dead Baker. Very interesting. Find all sorts of things on Copart. New, old, and super old. Definitely not a project I want to get myself into. Let's keep going. That thought it was just funny. Very, very different. I mean, it's, it's there. <laughs> So next we have this 2017 Ford F-150 XLT. So it's not a Larry yet, but hey, still got some cool stickers on it. <laughs> Similar damage, I would say. Got some rear end, a little bit of the door, fender over there. So it's not as high of a package. You can see with the regular tail lights, tailgate, stickers missing, F-150. You got some sensors back there, it's pretty sweet. Overall, you got some bed damage side swiped on the door this thing is actually a clean title so again another clean title truck from georgia but a dealer is selling this one i checked the auto a stat first like i said that's what we do and went for close to sixteen thousand dollars twice already and they didn't let it go so that is what they're trying to get out of it i mean it's pretty cool the sport edition so you got the big screen the custom interior it's definitely nice four by four five oh as well front end looks pretty good little covers missing a little piece of plastic always pops off definitely want to get that back it's been hit for a while now you can see all that rust on there they just cut this off so you don't damage the door anymore just need a new bed a little bit of door damage but the airbag did deploy on this one even though it does have a clean title similar miles i would say just a little right under ninety-four thousand battery is dead but also run and drive i think i gotta check that out i think i remember reading that Got some cool red led lights everywhere but the battery is definitely dead and the hood doesn't want to open yep cables popped out so definitely going to keep an eye on this one but i'm less excited about this one instead of our first truck just because how many times it's been playing and it's a dealer selling it so they probably want to make some profit on it which makes sense you know that's part of the game too no big deal totally normal but that just cuts onto our profit losses as well so we're here making trying to make some money too just gotta count the cost and get the right deal check out this 2022 brand new jeep grand wagoneer these things are definitely high dollar i mean they're a limited production basically top of the line super sweet Looking at this side, it's definitely the shocks are down or something up with the suspension. Wagoneers. Oh yeah, you'll see these things rolling. Very nice interior. Just beautiful 2022. Big old moon roof in it. Third row seating. Interior's nice. You got yourself a little airbag deployed back there. Fortunately, no power. But that's basically the good side. I was looking at the pictures, I was like, oh, this side ain't too bad. But let's keep going around and check out the extent of the damage. I'm sure these parts are not cheap. Tailgate is hit as well and destroyed on this side. And check out that quarter panel. Wow, that is smashed in. We've done some quarter panel work before, but that's just not the skin. That's definitely structural. You got the doors, both of them. And the whole front end is smashed on the passenger side as well. Dang, definitely a big project. This is not a weekend project. <laughs> Take a little bit. We've done worse, but probably going to pass. It didn't look that bad in pictures. Moving right along, we still have some Florida Certificate of Destruction vehicles here for sale in South Carolina as well. This Tesla is going for sale today. No title basically water damage doesn't want to open makes sense i'm surprised they don't isolate these because some of them they do 
because the water damage but this is a nice one it got the dual motors but basically a parts car so slammed that's crazy so this is playing as well but like i said just parts so they're basically just lined up next to each other i'm looking for a 2022 land rover i thought it was this one but that looks a little older there we go so there's that tesla back there and this 2022 land rover is also a certificate of destruction from florida man so nice i just kind of want to check it out water damage water flood to be specific getting even hard to open it smells nice i wouldn't say you're overpowered by any kind of crazy smell so i don't know how much water got inside wow that's pretty sweet so like the buttons are little displays as well fortunately no power so we can't test anything but again this is just certificate of destruction even though some people do somehow get titles for them depending on the states you live and it's definitely a controversial topic but nothing i want to get into so we got this 2021 jeep rubicon definitely nice still hunting for a jeep one day um says this one primary damage is water damage so we'll see about that interesting airbag just kind of hanging out there so deployed definitely got a lot of parts in the back somebody's been taking this thing apart so you're jumping into somebody else's project it's always fun pick up where somebody else left off sometimes things are missing sometimes things are gone like crazy so it's not really ideal and there's probably a reason why they left it so I'm not really too excited it looks like there's a lot going on here so second reason it's salvage is front end damage and yeah that looks pretty bad pass but hey that's why we're here checking them out see the ones we want and stay away from the ones we don't this is the first, I thought this is the one. I was like, man, the pictures look really different. A lot of damage. Moving on. I'm actually looking for that F-150 right here. This thing's actually a Raptor. Check out Auto Ace Dad's played a while. Somebody got it, just pulled it out. Made it look a little better. It's whatever. It's not too bad. But it's been on the auction for a while, so. I'm gonna pass as well. It's definitely nice. But. And you got frame damage. Looks like the bed's kind of twisted. Or is the tires low or? No, probably got some frame damage. It's definitely a nice Raptor, but a lot of work, work all around. And I'm not looking for such a big project. That's fine. The fiberglass fenders. We did a Raptor before. More work than this, but wasn't well, something I'm too excited about doing again right now. So I definitely want to pick something up, but out of these 200 cars playing today, I only found that one truck in the beginning. I'm just going to walk the yard, see if something else catches my eye. Maybe a quick flip. I don't see anything too crazy, cool, supercharged VA kind of thing, you know, that I want to tackle right now. But who knows, maybe we'll be able to find something and depends how much that truck goes, that'd be great. Let's keep looking, let's keep hunting. So my buddy's like, check out this Mercedes 2021. This thing is beautiful, playing in a couple days. But I was like, well, if you keep looking at it, certificate of destruction, bro. He's like, what? He's like, yeah, Florida, certificate of destruction, just because it's here in South Carolina. You still gotta definitely keep an eye on that title status. It is a game changer, even if the car is sick and beautiful. And you can tell the mold's already kind of going. It's definitely cleaned up cleaned up nice but if you look closely you could tell the damage so definitely a pass e350 i mean beautiful car for sure but that certificate of destruction with the water damage zero miles on it mercedes flooded <laughs> definitely a nightmare you can be chasing your tail for a while on that one all the computers are talking with each other so one goes off you have a christmas tree it's gonna be a project pass 
So this is something that definitely caught my eye. There's a 2016 Mercedes GLE 63 AMG. This thing is definitely huge. I mean, V8, uh, turboed, crazy power for sure. Very interesting. It's a cool looking Mercedes. It's very interesting because it's a clean title, run and drive, but no miles, and definitely wrecked pretty good. It doesn't look like a run and drive from here at all, but that's what it's listed as, as a run and drive. But for some reason they couldn't get the miles out and that tire is all up in the fender, the door. But I mean, that's what they listed as, run and drive. So, interesting case. Can't even open the door on that side, but hey, we'll get in. Okay, not here either, that's fine. It already sold twice, but they didn't let it go. $30,000, I believe. So that's interesting. Let's see if we can open this hood up. Nice. Oh yeah. That's a beauty for sure. Handcrafted AMG. <whistles> definitely got power. So the engine alone is definitely worth money. That looks fine. Um, I mean, clean title, so it's definitely still worth fixing. This side looks fine. Let's see if we get inside over here. It's a run and drive. Let's check out this interior. See how it feels. The key is in the ignition. It smells like a Mercedes. Unfortunately, we got no power, so we don't know how many miles. But a little sticker up there says 50,000. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is right there. You guys see that? So probably 50,000 miles on it, which isn't bad. Got a little transponder so you just you know tracker can't lose that pretty sweet but you got your new airbags deployed steering wheel dash that is definitely a pain i mean pretty sick you got your tvs in the back really nice interior definitely a beautiful car but big project big old project so maybe if something specifically that you're looking for but i'm not really you know Looking for one of these, because that is a project. Even though it's pretty sweet, I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it, see how much it goes for, but I'm really interested in that truck, and so far I haven't found anything else in the yard. Search continues. So just walking by, and I seen this 2021 Land Rover. Clearly it's a water flood, because um, that's on the inside. All that moisture coming out buy it now price is $39,000 looked at auto a stat so ooh, I mean Copart is playing for 39,000 it's played before certificate of destruction even though it's sweet it is a parts car so unfortunate boy inside smells nice but you can see there's definitely a lot of water coming from the headliner or I'm aware water has hit this thing zero miles not running drive very similar story to our Florida trips yeah she's been wet pretty wet I guess there's still a lot of parts on it so that's cool if I was looking for one that step came out I guess you need a step you know just in case. <laughs> it is slammed, lowered, and frozen. All right, guys, back in the office, and now we can actually watch the cars play, the trucks, all the good stuff. Basically did the leg work, and now we have opportunity to play them, because like I said, they're playing right now. But unfortunately, that's all the time for this episode. If you guys want to see the prices, go ahead and stay tuned, and we'll show you how much everything went for, and maybe we'll pick something up, because we are getting a new project. We sold the Jaguar, we sold the Lotus, so we're looking forward to a new build. Maybe one of these, maybe not. Stay tuned and find out.